Good morning. Happy Sunday, November 11th. Uh, happy Veterans Day. We are going to the Veterans Day Parade. Um, I have a tea ready with milk in it I'm going to bring with me. I have water I'm going to bring with me. Um, and I have a banana I'm going to take with me. I think we're going to get a bagel. Um, <clears throat> the kids are in the um, early Army Cadets of America, so they'll be in the parade. So I'll get some clips of that and show you that. So that's exciting. Um, last last year to do this because they're seniors. So yeah. All right. I will talk to you soon. Hey. So I'm just gonna have a half of an RX bar. Mark needed something to eat with his medicine, so I'm just gonna have a half of this with him. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Hey, just having a bayali with olive cream cheese. I'm having one donut hole from Dunkin' Donuts. Hey, we're walking in Portland. It is cold out here. I think it's up to like 36. So, um, we're waiting for the, the kids to get down this way with the parade. We're walking up a little bit further, but yeah. So, I'll turn you around and um, show you a little bit of the parade. The army cats. Caitlin's in the front holding the flag. Kyle's in the front. Kathy's in the back walking. That's our sergeant in the truck. Slugger for baseball. Hey guys, um, so let's see, update on the day. We went to the um, Veterans Day Parade, which was so beautiful and so wonderful. The ceremony was so beautiful. I'm always so um, so grateful that so many people go out and so many people um, are there for the veterans and the ceremony and the parade. And it's just it's just a wonderful feeling. I didn't really get any pictures of the ceremony. Just some of the kids. Um, standing at attention um, just before the ceremony. Um, I didn't really want to um, interrupt people or interrupt um, like attention to the ceremony to take pictures or to a video. So, um, but I got all of the um, parade and um, clips of the kids and so yeah. Um, I think you will have already seen the parade because I think I'm going to put today and tomorrow together um, for vlogging and I think I'm going to do the whole parade just as itself um, and then pieces in this video. <clears throat> um, it's been a good day. I'm right at plan. So, um, or just a little bit over. But um, I'm just going to have a snack now. I'm making some chicken, um, buffalo chicken in the crock pot. And, um, that will be done later. So I might have a little bit of that later, but, um, I am having a snack now. So I want to show you that. Um, I don't think there was anything else I wanted to update you on. We had, um, pizza. I didn't get any chips with my pizza. So that's awesome. Um, I brought half of my cows on home. So I was excited about that. We did have some um, french fries with it, and, uh, I had diet soda, and, and then I had a water, and I put some, uh, true lemon in it, so, that was good, but, uh, yeah, so I'll turn you around and show you my snack, alright. Just having three, um, ounces of buffalo chicken with a little bit of sauce on it, 
um, hot peppers and just a little bit of blue cheese dressing. Good morning, happy Monday, um, November 12th. <clears throat> so, um, recap yesterday, it was a good day. I did go over, but the beauty of tracking everything, even though I felt like I hadn't done that well, was that I knew where I stood at the end of the day and I wanted a little something else. And so I just had the chicken and I chose not to have a wrap and I knew I could have it today. So I would, I told myself, nope, you're gonna, you're just going to eat the chicken and tomorrow you can have the wrap. So today I'm going to have a, um, a buffalo chicken wrap for lunch. So I'll show you that when I have that. I have breakfast already. I'll show you that. Um, but I felt like I made a good choice at the end of the day. So even though it was a day that I went over, um, I still like I, I still felt like I made some good choices um, in 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 the day. So I felt good about that. And um, I'm planning on a good day today. I'm hoping for a good today day today. Um, even though I'm home, um, I got a good breakfast plan. So I'm um, excited about that. All right, I'll turn you around and show you what I have. All right, so for breakfast, I have a half a banana, I have a half a cup of oats, one tablespoon of syrup, and a third of a cup of milk. I have my water, and I'm having one egg um, scrambled, and I'm going to put a little bit of hot sauce on that. I'm going to try to my stick to my normal breakfast and um, do a good job today. Hey, for a snack, I'm having... Um, one fourth of a cup of ranch dip, which is four tablespoons, and carrot chips. All right, here's my um, buffalo chicken wrap. I started to wrap it up and then realized I didn't show you. It has um, three ounces of chicken, an ounce of cheese, buffalo sauce, more extra buffalo sauce, lettuce, tomatoes, and a tablespoon of um, blue cheese dressing. Hey, so here's dinner. I have a half a slice of garlic toast, a cup of pasta, a cup of sauce, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and I'm drinking water, and I'm also having some Diet Coke. Hey, just coming on to end the vlog for the night. Um, so I ended up having a half a piece of cake and, um and a scoop of ice cream that I forgot to film. Uh, family was here and we were celebrating Marky's birthday and um, yeah, I forgot, I forgot to film it. I got it all eaten and I went, oh no, <laughs> I forgot to take a picture. But um, I think I did well because, you know, like a normal size square piece of cake, I just had half. And um, I was happy that um, I chose to have um, a cup of pasta and a cup of sauce. So I, um, was able to control myself in that cause I, I felt like that was a serving. I had a half of piece of, um, bread toast with uh, garlic butter on it. So I think I did well, um, in a tough, you know, like a, um, a situation that I struggle with so I think I did well and um, I had I did have like eight pieces of um, pepperoni that I didn't I didn't film either so uh, I think it was a great day um, you know with cake involved and um, pasta because that's you know but spaghetti is one of my son's favorites so tomorrow is his birthday but he's going to be working so we kind of celebrated today but um no i think i did i think i i made good choices so um if you guys haven't you should check out um jess jess's journey to healthy brianna and gina or simply gina they all have some really um, they did a collab with videos with um, 
just holiday tips and how to stay on track. And I just, I, I just, I think they were great tips. And um, I really, um, Jess said something about, you know, when you go to a party, holiday party or whatever, don't go hungry. And that put a light bulb in my head. And I realized that when I went on Saturday, I went hungry on purpose so that I was thinking that I had enough plan left so that I could enjoy the foods that were there. But I think that that was my mistake. I think I should have gone satisfied and then I could have just tried something. But I was hungry. I was really hungry when I went. I think that was my era. So I think that was a great tip, Jess. Thanks. Um, yeah, all three of the girls had awesome tips. I watched all three of their videos. They did a great job. So um, I took away from all of their tips. And um, I'm really hoping for a great season. And, uh, you know, those buffets, they're not going to get me. I, I'm determined that they're not going to get me. <laughs> so the the not buffets potlucks I'm determined that they're not going to get me this season and things like the game you know and having you know free food and things like that parties they're not going to get me this year that's my downfall that's that's a really a real struggle for me and I know it's real for a lot of people and a lot of us struggle with that and I I I think it, I think those tips helped me today even. So I'm excited. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.